Um, we will have two parts, and uh, what is great in this project, I think, that we have, uh, we have the possibility to enjoy two different approaches. So in this project, we, we create a connection between drama and education, that was we have done until now with great facilitators, and now we try something uh, that we call mimesis in education. So be prepared to try something different in a way. But the aim is completely the same. It makes for us very interesting this project because these two research never merge together. So it's the first time that internationally we have this connection with research. And we find that it's quite interesting. And uh, I'm curious to know if you are interested as well. And also, because we are researcher, we are really researching. So we don't still know everything. We are researching. And uh, also, Gladys said, if you don't, if you stop to research, you are not living as a human being. So human being is always researching. We are in fun. So we need help in this research. So first thing, uh, you have to expect something different. But the aim is the same. And also, we have to go with Jonas. <laughs> so, we will discover the difference during, during the work. It doesn't make sense to explain differences now. We are always humanity searching our humanity. This is the work that we are doing. And we are always searching that make things alive. The way are different. So, what can be a way in which I can help you? To, to find the right way. Now we are not going to represent anything in this job. We are more searching something more internal. I hope it may help. So we are not worried at all what the other people will see in the outside. Most of, of our work will be inside ourselves. So, see, for example, yesterday I was thinking with you what is culture, you know, what is knowledge? Knowledge. I try to say is a quality of relationship. And we can facilitate the quality of relationship of the student with the subject, with another student, with another human being, with the teacher. And we can grow in this uh, quality of relationship. But if we would ask to present in exhibition the quality of relationship, it would be very difficult because something that is deep inside us. So we remain with this problem. How we can represent, if I'm not clear, please ask me, how we can represent what we feel inside, really? What we can show the life? Another way to say, what we can represent love, but not the representation of love, love itself. How can we do that? You can see that there are not many pictures that are the title of love. It's not easy to make a picture of love. It's not made easy to make no, a sculpture. Then we have errors. We have way to say what is love. We have many names. We say agave. We say philia. We say friendship. So if the problem is, how can we find a way to feel and to live inside? So the work at the beginning will be around relationship, but watching inside us what I'm feeling. Also, they think that they cannot really express, they cannot really express, such as love. We can be in love, we can love someone, but it's very difficult to make a pitch or to write something about love. Only few people try to do that. So we don't have so many pages that explain what is love. So, I hope that this can help. We are looking for something inside us. The experience is not outside, it's in ourselves. So it's, it's, it is in a place where me, as a trainer, cannot arrive. You are the only one that, that can really watch this theater. I'm looking in this first part to the theater inside yourself not more the theater of the other things. 
to what I'm feeling. This is a question that you can work on. And we try to work on relationship. So we we'll start in a very easy way. Are you with me until now? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we try now to walk in the space. So um, just another little thing. What is important is the quality. It's not the exercise itself. I can do the same thing, but it's important what I'm feeling. There is something that I like of uh, Aristotle. Uh, he said, it's not important that you do well something. It is important the way in which you do well something. So we have to do well because it's our duty. But in which way we do that thing that is good? And the way is the internal one. What is my internal motivation? What I'm really feeling when I do that thing that is. So we are working in that place. Maybe we won't be easy to achieve because maybe it's more easy to act. It's less easy to feel in self our internal fear. But we will try. I think we have some very easy tools to try this work on relationship. So first thing to walk in the space and this very simple exercise to try to use the eyes to really watch the other person. Just that. Uh, we can show, can you ask me? Mm -hmm. okay. Allora, we stay in front of the other and we put our hand like this. But we don't touch. At this point, um, we look our eyes. We, we close our eyes. Now, we know that our hands are quite close. So if I go toward the other, I will touch it. And slowly, slowly, I try to. And then I start to feel that I'm touching. So please, feel this moment. You are touching another wall. Another person is another world, another way of feeling. And from here, there is another temperature, another start to search together a movement. A movement where I'm not deciding where to go, and she's not deciding. We are, but there is movement. We make a research, just a research of movement and being together. Don't know, but you know. Um, I felt that um, 
fact that we close our eyes, because the, the sight is such a strong sense that it overshadows everything else. So the fact that we closed our eyes made it really intense, so you could really focus on the other person and really get into the other person's thoughts. And so everything else was, wasn't there for me. I was, and for the other person, as far as I could feel, I was very much into this. And then, and also the, the other thing that was really important is that uh, every time we changed the partner, we became less frightened. So we were taking more risks. Every partner was a, 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 a step further for me because you, you could explore yourself and the relationship more. Thank you. And the fourth partner you had? I had the fourth partner. <laughs> and the experience was very interesting because uh, you can see that this girl had no fear at all. So we didn't need to spend time to like it and explore each other's boundaries or guards or drop off the guards. She was very risk taking and adventurous and like, I was like, we were trying to achieve this day, you know? <laughs> So now what I will ask you is we make like a triangle. Mm -hmm. yes. So we put the hands in this way, now we without touching. When the end are in this way, we can close our eyes. Now we can take we close our eyes in this moment and then we go slowly toward the other. Now the difficulty is that I have to speak with a person and with another person. Uh, to try not to be extensive, <laughs> not but try maybe one can be very fast and the other very slow. How can we relate if we are in three and we want to touch the world? Because we can lose one word and stay in another one. Or we can do the same in the two words, maybe it's not. Okay. Explore. Cool. Three people. Close your eyes, one end, one end. What you, what you have to try if you are able to speak with the two different words. What, what is the feeling? Try not forget the other word. There are two words and you have to find a way to speak. Maybe they speak different language. For sure, they are different words. Now I will not stop you. The group will decide when there will be no movement, there will be the end. So you can take your time without saying anything to arrive to your end. When you are without movement, the three of you, you can open your eyes and speak between the three of you, thinking that maybe others are still working. So speak not aloud. Just some few sentences, if there is something interesting that 
They rise in your group. Like, <laughs> tell, tell us so we can share everyone. Uh, I choose two persons that I have reaction, different reaction from the first game. With Adam from the first game, uh, I we we felt each other that we, we are dancing. And uh, and with Stefanos from from the first game, I felt that uh, as I told before that we are from different world and we're trying to find the connection, but at then we didn't. Now when I choose them, I felt that in my one hand with Adam it was like um, I was dancing, <laughs> and the other I, I was trying to find the connection, but then I find it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you really work on two different worlds. Yes. Yes. At first, worried that we have the two different worlds. I was like, okay. What if something is going on here that this ham doesn't know about? Yeah. And then between that fear, I just realized that actually there's a third world I don't know about, and they have the same situation there that they have to be sort of worried about. Both of them. It, it was very interesting to notice yeah. this, but then I forgot that, and it was just very e easy and nice to flow with two different, yeah. very different kind of design. flows. But yes, but it needed some. Yeah, I think it was very pleasant. So, this time, the two of us, uh, but sometimes the relationship is not so harmonious, no? That everyone is searching, uh, being together, or sometimes need to put more energy to moving, or maybe to be more waiting for something, or, or maybe there is a contrast. There is, we are not really, we are, then we are searching another way of so now we try to put our hands it's more energetic open eyes and uh, it's not sure what we're doing okay okay it doesn't mean that i have to win it doesn't mean that i have maybe i'm strong maybe but it doesn't mean that i have maybe i, I want to try what does it mean i want to feel her energy coming and uh, it's not sure, maybe I can see what, but maybe she wants to feel more energy or make sense. I try to watch the other in the eye. Don't speak. Just use the voice. Yes. Present this in search of simplicity. Try to arrive in front of the other as two human beings. And find a moment to touch the end of the other. And if you can cope, if you find a way. Just to add to the other person. That's all. 
Take your time. See if you can touch this other humanity. And uh, see if you can find a way to act. That's all. Who is ready to try? Sir? Who is ready to try? Who is ready to try? Now, silent and no other way. But, but it, I think it, it, with four people doing it and 24 watching it, yeah. it, it, can, it cannot not be a performance. I, I, I don't, I can't, um, uh, you know, so it's not, I'm not questioning your, your honesty, but you can't not be aware of 24 people watching and uh, having expectation or not, uh, but becomes... I was not aware of. Yeah, but it does, I don't, for me, it doesn't matter if you're aware of it. Uh, it is still, it is still a performance because I'm sitting and watching, watching it, and I'm, I'm seeing it as a, as a performance in a, in a sense. But why, why is it a performance? Because the situation is a, a performative situation because you are doing it in a space where there. are... we started, but after when we go to our aura, I think we forget everything. Just focus the. I'm, yeah. I'm not talking about, I'm talking about yeah. myself, I'm not talking about the UN, it's not a judgment in any way. Um, but uh, can I just, ask you, do yeah. you think that you could, as a spectator, enter the experience instead of, uh, um, instead of look at it as a performance, to enter the experience as an outsider, and then your perspective changes from audience into an outsider participant, which is a different quality, I think. And I think it is, to me, I think it is possible. That's how I, but do you, do you understand the difference between the two qualities? Yes, I, I read this second version as a, so I was involved and I, I couldn't uh, felt myself after a few minutes a people. 
I just uh, felt myself as a as a participant outside, but maybe in emotionally involved, and it was really touching. And I, I yeah, after a few minutes, I I forgot about this. But now we just explore this movement, this, and what we are going to do now. I will ask one person, then it will be each of us, to do the mimesis of the fire. So what you have done with your eyes closed, and while all the other people were doing, now we are doing alone. So you are alone doing your mimesis, trying to remain in contact with the real movement that you felt and not be lost because other people are watching you. This is always a problem in our life. Can we own it when the other one are watching us? So the effort of the person that is doing is try to remain in contact with her feeling, with his feeling, and be free of doing what he has done before, but not repeating, researching the same connection that will create a movement that is similar. Cannot be the same. You know that cannot be the same. And what the other one are doing? The other one are doing as soon as they can the mimesis of the mimesis of the other. So what I what I'm asking you to do the mimesis of what the other is doing. Trying to do what in doing that. Try to go to achieve the place where the other is feeling the relationship that generates the human. So, of the other, we can see only the external movement. But that external movement came from a place inside that we have met doing. What we are going to try to do through the external movement that we see, not to remain to the exteriority, not just moving our hands as she is moving, but try through the movement, try to achieve the place where that movement is generated. The place where that person is feeling the fire as she is feeling the fire. It's a research, it's not a science. So what I would like now is that you make four groups, and they will give you an images for each group. So we can try a smaller group, different images. Just make a small group of people, so we'll be more relaxed, and we don't have to do so many. But we need the moment to get. So four groups, a circle, four circles, and I will come in your circle, and they will give you an image. Yeah. 
Yeah, like I said, I also told the 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 angry for me. Yeah, I you know, whether like, yeah. 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 Even in the sound, and with the, you guys are from the country. Yeah, yeah for a yeah. Yeah. Not, yeah, uh, uh, maybe the rain. But this is quite interesting. For us, it sounds like a different like sound. Yeah. So we're really definitely more familiar with it. We are going to work with all the body and try to approach poetry. We will go very close to an activity in class. So I will come with a poem translated in different languages. Thank you to Adam for the personal thanks for translation, uh, to Flavia for the things around. And uh, there will be it's an Italian poem that has 200 years now. It's 200 years old, just in this year. It's one of the most famous Italian poems, maybe for someone the most famous. So we have found translation in different languages. We will have in Hungarian, we will have in English, in two different translations, but mostly we will use one that's more literal, the words are by the same. And we have another one for the one who wants to see more poetic, more free. And uh, we have a translation in Greece. And uh, because of the help of my friend, we have also a translation in Dutch that you can bring with you. So if other people have a different mother tongue language, and they would like to search the poem. The title is The Infinity by Leopardi. So it would be great if you could find it in Finnish. If I don't, I'll just translate it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you have it in Finnish and other things. <laughs> 